Hey, what's up everybody? We're going to be learning the Gerudo Valley theme from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time today on the guitar. It's just the chords. There's a few things that you need to have experienced before on the guitar, such as playing a bar chord, listening to this song a lot, and being able to transition between chords relatively quickly. The first thing we've got going on is an F sharp minor chord with our third and fourth finger, and then we're going to bar across the remainder of the strings. A lot of students will experience this sound if they've never done it before. So we wanna make sure we hear every single one of the notes. Next, let's talk about the strumming pattern for this song. When you go to perform the strumming pattern, we're gonna be going for a down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Forever and ever. It's pretty easy to mute using the fingers. When I let off, that's the muting sound. Next chord we're gonna play is our D major chord. Middle, first, on the second fret, and then your ring finger, your third finger, on the third fret. And we're just gonna play the top four strings. You have to aim for the highest strings. And you have to be able to mute. So I do a combination of what's called thumb muting for the bottom strings if I ever hit them, but I also use my third finger to just kind of like protect and wrap around these two at the bottom because I really like the muting sound and you do too. And that's why one of the reasons why the song is so cool and it slaps so hard. So most of this is being done with me lifting fingers off and third finger and thumb doing some work here. So let's practice going between the first one and the second one real quick. Good. Now we're going to move on to the third chord. The third chord is E major. It's middle and third on the second and third string. First finger on the first fret, just like so. And you're going to play all the strings for this. So same strumming pattern. Now, again, we're muting as much as possible. Let's go between the second and the third chord now. So D major. To E major. The fourth chord in this song, we're almost done, believe it or not. We're going to bar on the fourth fret right here. And we're going to stick our ring finger on the third string, the sixth fret. We're going to stick our pinky finger on the fifth string on the sixth fret. And you're barring on the fourth fret. So there's our full bar. Let's practice the strum pattern. Great, now that we've done that, let's practice getting from the E major chord over to the C sharp dominant seventh chord. Here's E major. Now you'll notice there's one thing that I'm doing here to make it slightly easier on myself. This third finger is actually gonna slide up to the sixth fret. There's E major. That allows me as the player to have a little bit more anchoring and I feel like I'm not just shooting out in the middle of nowhere with my fingers. That particular motion is pretty tough. So give yourself a lot of grace and forgiveness on how to move through those two. And that's the end of the cycle. We go back to the first chord. To practice the entire thing through, we're gonna go nice and slow. Your job as a guitar player is to get these chords moving pretty quickly. I hope that you've had fun playing this song. Don't forget to slow it down in YouTube using the settings wheel to make anything slower that needs to be slower. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I can't wait to hear how you sound on the song. Bye y'all.